Economics is a notoriously inexact science. But if there's one constant, it's a continuous rise in the cost of energy. As the new millennium dawns, our most vital energy needs remain hostage to political instability, to dwindling natural resources, and to a growing alarm over the effect of pollution from coal and other fossil fuels, as well as electricity generated by nuclear power. As energy production remains mired in decades-old technologies and practices, it becomes clear that a crisis is waiting to happen. Energy crises are not new to Americans, but since the embargoes and shortages of the 1970s, there's been a growing demand for alternate sources of energy that are reliable and safe. Ironically, as this demand continues to grow, the prospect seems farther and farther away. But that may be changing. Congress recently passed legislation to deregulate the nation's power companies, opening the door for smaller entrepreneurial companies to tackle the problem with new insights and fresh ideas. I decided to take a closer look at the company that claims to have an unusual, indeed an intriguing plan to reinvent the electric power companies in America. The building you see behind me is home to one very promising energy innovator. Not only has this company developed new technologies that promise to revolutionize the production of electric power, they've also developed a truly unique concept in financing and distributing that power. This approach will offer consumers the ability to generate electric power from their own homes, in effect, to become their own power companies. The result? A household could generate enough electric power to meet all its needs, while sending large volumes of surplus energy back into the power grid. The net effect would be an abundant amount of electric power for the consumer, power that is environmentally friendly and absolutely free. For the people at Better World Technologies, the name says it all, ending fossil fuel pollution, providing an energy abundance to meet the needs of the world's growing population, developing a wide range of innovative technologies to transform and improve the way people live. For Better World's president, Dennis Lee, the company's mission is clear. Everyone is talking about a new world. At Better World Technologies, we do not want a new world, we want a better world. Technology is vital to our humanity, community, enlightenment, welfare, comfort, progress, safety, liberty, enjoyment of life and health. Where would we be without technical advances? Society looks back to previous times and wonders how we ever got by without our present day technologies. Unfortunately, advancement is not made easy by the entrenched businesses who want to continue exploiting yesterday's advances. Our vision at Better World Technology is to encourage excellence and to give the consumer alternatives to traditional technologies. We pledge to have the courage to confront powerful self-interests and to make a stand against the suppression of technical alternatives that are vital to the growth of our society. We will do all that is within our ability, without fear or hesitation, to promote God's blessings for mankind and work to build a better world today. One huge expression of this vision is generating free electricity using the Hummingbird motor and the Sundance generator. The Sundance generator is what experts have called the most unique generator in the world. Traditionally, a generator uses copper wires called windings to generate power. The windings get hot as they generate power and eventually they break. When that happens, the generator can no longer operate. It must be replaced or sent back to the factory to be rebuilt. This built-in obsolescence has been eliminated from the Sundance generator. Each of the unit's 15 pairs of windings put out two kilowatts each and can be replaced as easily and safely as changing a fuse. One pair can be changed while the other 14 continue to generate power. This revolutionary design will allow the Sundance generator to operate for over a century without needing to be replaced. At certain speeds, the permanent magnets inside the generator actually overdrive the motor that runs it, so that, at times, the generator actually powers itself. The Sundance generator is driven by what some experts have called the most efficient electric motor in the world. It's called the Hummingbird because it packs so much power into such a small package, doing things that are difficult even for some scientists to believe. 
The motor that drives this unique generator is powered by one of the oldest forces in nature, permanent magnets. Now, if you're like me, magnetism has been a source of fascination since childhood. What's the secret of this powerful, invisible force? Why does it attract and repel? How can it defy gravity? Magnets are a mystery even to the brightest of scientists. Whatever force is in them, it is very reliable and present everywhere, anytime, day or night, in hot or cold climates. I'd like to do some simple demonstrations of the power that we have in magnets. Uh, this is a magnet, and uh, it has mass, weight, volume. If I drop it, uh, as you would expect, it falls. It responds to gravity. However, if I take a metallic object like this steel uh, panel and I attach it to the side of the steel panel, you notice it isn't falling anymore. What power is in this that is causing it to defy gravity? That power, it's obviously not plugged into electricity or anything, but that's a tremendous source of power. Wouldn't it be neat if we could plug into the same power that can cause this to continually defy gravity uh, to power our homes and everything else? Now, I have some other magnets here. Uh, these are less powerful than those, uh, but you can see they are magnetic. One is holding the other. And what I'm going to do is just I'll show you a demonstration. If I take and reverse the poles on this, I've got the north and the south, the south, two souths that are working against one another. Right now they're pushing against each other. And you'll notice what happens when I withdraw one of my hands. When I take my left hand away, it pushed it away. So that's a force of push or a force of pull. Now, so you can see what happens. See, it just pushes it away. Watch what happens when I lift it up a little bit. Do you see the effect on the second magnet? I can control that magnet using the force of this one. So that is a force. Now, if I turn them all the way up, it draws it right back to itself again. Show you another idea. It's defying gravity. So now talk about defying gravity. One magnet on the base, the other magnet lifts it right straight up. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of power in magnets. These are not very powerful right here. But there's a lot that isn't understood about magnets. And if you're a scientist or you talk to a scientist, scientists don't know everything there is to know about magnetics. This is a piece of copper. Copper is non-magnetic. So it's a non-magnetic piece of copper. You'll notice that the magnet does not stick to the copper. However, look what happens. Maybe we can bring our camera and look into it. Look what happens when I drop this ordinary magnet. Or that's not an ordinary magnet. It's a very special magnet. But when I drop this magnet into the center of this non-magnetic material, this specialty magnet, you can see what happens. Now watch. It's kind of like an astronaut floating in space. There it goes. <laughs> kind of an interesting experiment. Now, the magnets that we're actually using, this is one of the magnets that's in both the Hummingbird motor and the Sundance generator. There's close to 100 magnets between these two uh, products in unity. Uh, very, very, very powerful magnet. If you got two of these magnets with your finger between them, your finger would be crushed. They're very, very, very powerful. As a matter of fact, I have two of them together right here, and it is impossible for anybody to pull them apart. I'm going to show you the power that there is in this. But this is a very, very, very unique magnet, and this magnet has a tremendous amount of force. Now, just to give you an illustration of that, let me show you what happens when we drop this special magnet down into our non-magnetic copper tubing. See how long it takes for it to go down? It's still going down. I mean, it takes forever for that magnet to go all the way down to the bottom, even though it does have weight, does have mass, does have volume. It takes a long, long time for it to get all the way down to the bottom of that and finally fall out. So non-magnetic material, yet look at the effect that we had with these very special magnets that we have. Now, I'm going to give you an illustration over here now. We're going to use a couple of my assistants. 
And we're going to take these very powerful magnets and we're going to show you how much force it takes to pull them apart. Like you can't do this with your hands. My assistants over here now could just come over on each side. Grab a weight. Now right here we have 25 pounds. Uh, Marilyn, you have to stand on the side there. 25 pounds, 10 pounds, and 5 pounds. So that's 40 pounds of weight. Pulling right here are the two magnets. They're together now. And 40 pounds will not pull them apart. So we're going to put 25 pounds equally on both sides at the same time. So now we have another 50 pounds. We have 90 pounds of force pushing down on these magnets. They still don't do it. So let's take two five pounders and put them together at the same time on each side. You notice it still doesn't do it. We're up to 100 pounds of force now of weight. Let's take these uh, two and a half pound weights, five more 